everyone, it's Sam here and today I'm making this box which I'm going to call Santa's Sack. So I am going to be changing this. I didn't have the rope, gold rope that I want to use as I'm making this. But um, if you imagine a nice gold rope through this, kind of hanging down with some bells on it, I think it gives it more of that Santa's Sack style. However, it is also just a really nice and unusual gift box. It's given me Chinese lantern as well, or Christmas lantern. So I think you could probably yeah change this up a few ways and you know swap out the reds and it's going to look great for birthdays you could have some nice party paper on the front there i think it's going to look great the whole thing just unties there with the ribbon i've got my gift tag and it's really spacious this is six six by six on the base and it's about nine high and it is super strong this will hold you know you can put some liquid in there candles so i think it's going to be a really handy one and it's a great size no dyes are needed to make it so let's get started so i've already gone ahead and i've prepared three of them so you're going to want to cut yourself four pieces of six and a half by this is a4 so it's about 11 and three quarters if you're using letter size so yours would be 11 that'd be fine yours would just be a little bit shorter than mine in terms of the width you can extend this if you want just make sure you give yourself a half half inch tab i'm going to have mine so it's a six by six kind of overall size but like i said you could go smaller with this i probably will do a few other little ones i think it would be quite nice to maybe have some mini santa's sacks but i'm going to do this one today four pieces of six and a half like i said by a4 which is around 11 and three quarters or you could use 12 inches as well along the six and a half side you're going to score at six and you want to put a little mark in the card just at two and a half and three and a half then rotate it and you want to put a mark at seven and a half and then fold this one over and put another mark at seven and a half. These are just little cutting guides. As long as you can see it, that's all that matters. Fold and burnish those score lines. And what I'm doing on this one, you'll do the same on the other three pieces. You want them all looking the same. First of all, just remove the little rectangle that's down in the corner here. And then from that little marker here, just snip up to it, okay? You might want to draw a line. What you're going to do now is cut from that marker up to this one, and then on that side, you'll cut up to the other side. Excuse, you can hear my dog pottering around behind me there. So I'm just going to snip right up. To that corner there to get it nice and straight that you can do and then you're just going to cut down from that marker to the other point okay then pop it back in and you're going to score you just want a quarter inch little tab at the end here so i'm scoring at about 11 and a half just enough to put a little bit of glue on okay i'll just bring that up there just give yourself a little tab you you know a few of you are going to have different heights so it's pointless me giving the measurement there just give yourself a little quarter inch half an inch if you want just fold and burnish and then we want to curl the cardstock and you want to have it so that tab's on my right hand side the curves towards me okay and you just want to bring this right round just do a little test one first and what we're going to do is add a bit of glue just onto the tab there and you're going to stick it down so you've got enough room to put some ribbon under i really wanted a piece of gold cord but i don't have any but i've got some nice gold ribbon but as long as you can fit it through but whatever kind of size this is you want to make sure you're consistent across all of the others and then just run a little bit of glue just along that tab and get yourself like some tweezers or something that you can just bring that around and you're just going to tuck the little tab under and then just go in there and just push that down. Like I said, everything I've just done on that, you want to repeat so you've got four that look the same. Okay, so that's all now stuck down. Next, you want to curve it now the other way. So it's just easier to add the curve, the shape, to get that stuck down. But now we want this to face inwards. Okay, so you can see all of mine and these ones, they all face in. If you want, you can curve it all that way and then curve it that way. It's whatever's going to work for you. Okay, next we want to decorate them. Now, there's a few ways to do this. You may may not want to decorate it at all. They're going to look lovely like this. I've got these big bows. I was just playing around before. I might just have a big bow at the top with the, the ribbon. This is what I was going to feed through. 
but then I thought it'd be nice to maybe have an embossed detail on this. You might want pattern paper. Now you can, if you want, just do like matte layers within the square sections and then keep the top part, the original color. I would then say, cut yourself four pieces that are five and three quarter by five and a quarter and they're fit within the bottom part. But I think I want to emboss, um, yeah, and it's gonna work with my eight inch embossing folders. I'm gonna emboss with my linen or maybe my um, festive tartan embossing folder. And I'm gonna use the same red cardstock and I'm gonna use the construction glue. And by the time I've added that to all the sides, stuck it down, we're gonna add the base. It's gonna be a really strong box. So if you've got something a bit heavier, like a candle and things like that, I think it's gonna hold it really well. So I'm gonna cut myself four pieces in the same red cardstock that are gonna be eight by five and three quarters. So I've embossed all the pieces. This is the Festive Tartan embossing folder. And all I did, just lay it down so you've got an equal border on the left, the right, fold that under there, left and the right, and the bottom. Because everybody's gonna have possibly different heights, just lay it down. And then I just marked with a pen or pencil, um, just mark in on the, just mark on the card the same border that you've got here you just want that to continue up the side if you've cut yours using a4 then you want to mark up it's five and a quarter come up both sides and then come in you're looking at it's literally just between one and a half and one and five eighths but if yours is taller then that's going to be slightly different or shorter as well some of you might be using like i said your 11 inch card and then just cut down and then add a little bit of a curve just so it the glue kind of sticks in that shape and stick it on the top so whilst that one's just drying you then want to stick them all together so you're just going to add your glue onto your little side tab i'm using the construction glue now because again i want everything to be nice and strong focus on your base score line here and just stick that down over the top and just do that on all the pieces so it looks like this Okay, and then if you flip it over, fold over the end there, add your glue again down that tab, and then fold over the other side. It should all nicely line up. Now you could make these ahead of time. You could just now keep them like this. They're gonna store obviously quite easily. And then just keep the two base pieces. I'm gonna show you how to stick them in a minute. You can stick them down nearer the time when you need them. Because although I'm doing this as a Santa sack, I still think it would work for many other occasions really it'd be nice as a birthday gift box just with different colors and papers you can change it up i think quite easily and once you're happy that's all secure you want to fold in the bottom so i'm going to fold in two opposites at the same time and then the other two i've cut myself two pieces six by six you might need to just shave a little bit off for the one that's going to go inside because obviously it's going to be a little bit smaller but you want to stick one in there so just add your glue around the top parts there in fact what might be easier to do is add a little glue just underneath these sections and then just let that kind of tack in place and then stick the base down first cover that one and then flip it over and it'd be easier then to add the glue once this is all stuck down you can then add your glue all inside and drop that one in. Like I said, I probably am just going to take a little bit off the sides just so it fits nicely. So everything is now dry. I've stuck all the base down. It's very strong. And you'll find that the next day when the construction glue is completely dried, it is solid. So like I said, perfect for heavy gifts. Imagine this with the tissue paper kind of coming out and everything. I think it's going to look lovely. So I've just been playing around with this wired um organza ribbon i've had it for years i like it but i think i am going to look for more of a rope string and eventually i will swap that out so just imagine two kind of you know different lengths of the ribbon hanging down with maybe some little bells on the end so you're seeing it like this at the moment because i don't have that but just to give you an idea i mean even something like a big bow just attached to the front i've got my tag here so i can write my message on the back this is using my festive sentiments i love this big one it's just perfect for gift tags wishing you a happy and fun filled christmas so this is going to be filled well i think i've got an idea of which one's going in there 
of, um, in terms of presents. But something like this, these I always keep. I'm one of those people at Christmas time when people have unwrapped their presents. If there's like a nice bow or something, I'm like, oh, I'll have that. <laughs> well, me and my mum fight for it. Um, but things like this, you can pick these up in your pound shops. Lots of charity shops have like these little bargain bins as well, you know, big bows. I keep all this. I've got a big tub, which is uh, full of Christmas stuff and it's perfect for now. But I've also got these bits. Um, I've got the holly. I've got these little wreaths. I've got in fact, all those pine cones I'm going to get out and use downstairs. But, you know, these big toppers. But I think these berries could look quite nice as a... A few of those. Maybe pick three of the berries with the the tag there. See that looks quite elegant, quite classy. <laughs> so I might just um I'm just giving you some ideas, you know, use what you have. If you've got any of like the peanuts and the, the different licenses that I've been sharing, there's lovely toppers in the paper pads there. You could use those. But if I just kind of pop that through. I like to keep everything attached to the tag so that when they take the ribbon off, it, you know, it's it's all in one place. But, you know, just to give you an idea. Yeah, hopefully it's given you some inspiration. So for now, I think I'm just going to attach my gift tag just start from one end just went through and came out the other you might want to go in here go around and then tie it around that way you might want to tie it underneath here i'm just gonna thread that one through and then tie that off so thank you for watching today i hope you've enjoyed this 3d project from me today i've got a lot more to share i am going to be doing my selection box i do them every year and i've got some table favors and just other fun christmas ideas as well so if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of that i will have my christmas playlist 2024 coming up now but i also have playlists from 2017 so there's lots of christmas um, inspiration there for you and all of the products that i've used today as always will be linked in the description box below take care and i'll see you all again soon Bye.